Hey guys, how are you? I am at the thrift store. I just had my first therapy session. It's with RFC, I think that's how you pronounce it. Oh man, I like abandoned so much and she gave me some like things to like, like with coping skills and stuff. We'll see how I do with that. She said like, since I already dabble in meditation and stuff to do some like breath work and stuff like that. And to kind of set emotional boundaries for myself because I have so much like worries and stuff for us moving. And she said different things like that, that hopefully they're helpful for me i don't know it's not like a therapist like where they write everything down and stuff it's more like a counselor i don't really know how to specifically say the difference but there is a difference and it feels different i think personally too there's that <laughs> so she only does sessions every two to three weeks which for me like i want someone weekly that's like what you normally do for like a therapist but i'm gonna be leaving anyway so for the time being it's good and she gave me like some tips and stuff to kind of like decompress in a way for like my triggers my stress trigger triggers and my anxiety triggers and stuff like that so anyway it went well overall do i feel better not necessarily but i'm not having like the greatest day today if you know what pmdd is it's premenstrual dysphoric disorder i have a history of that and i'm having a flare-up right now so the past couple days have been kind of like emotional for me yeah i'm not gonna really like dive deep into that but i just wanted to let you give you guys an update on like my therapy session and how it went is it for me necessarily i think i need more like of a professional therapist that does write things down because i really like to like deconstruct like patterns and stuff she did say me doing like youtube i love creating content it makes me happy so she said to keep that in like regards to like studying for board she said it's like really hard to do that right now in the middle of moving it's just a lot altogether. i'm just gonna keep rambling. so i'm gonna stop i just went to the thrift store to kind of look for like a white collared shirt for our halloween costume they didn't have anything but I'll show you what I bought. Today's kind of like my last day to collect any stuff. The un unaccompanied is coming on Friday. So I got this cute wicker basket for $2. It's so cute. I could put like crystals in here or decorative in my house. Anyway, I got Leo an Elmo book. He loves Elmo. So I'm so happy that I found this and it's a cute little like pop-up book. So he loves that. So he's gonna be super excited for this because I can't find his other Elmo book. Then I got him this toy, this like cute little bowling toy. This was also $2, so I'll clean it and wipe it down before I give it to him. That's super cute. And I found this, I was looking for a cupcake pan. So this is like a bigger cupcake pan, but I've been wanting to make pumpkin muffins, blueberry muffins and stuff like that. And our pan is shipped. So I'm just gonna keep this and I will put it in the loan locker after I'm done with it. Um, so whoever wants to use it, but I got two shirts like more fancier shirts that I could wear like a crock top under. It's not a typical color I would wear, but I'm trying to, you know, be more open. And then I got this orange one, which I don't also wear this color, but I thought it would be fun for Halloween time. Wear like orange and black or something like that. Anyways, so that's a cute little small thrift haul. And that'll probably be my last thrift haul unless I buy like fall clothes because any like item wise stuff, I won't be able to unless I shipped it, but I'm not gonna buy stuff and then ship it because that just doesn't make sense. I'm headed to the commissary to pick a couple things up and go back home. So I'll show you guys when the next clip will probably be when unaccompanied comes and us packing. So, you know, uh, kind of like a week in the life, let's say. It's just the wall, huh? one of them. We have a hallway and laundry door that Devin is putting back up. There's dragonflies everywhere. All of those are dragonflies. Wow, so many. Look at them. It's hard to see. Wow. So many. It's crazy. Turtle? Turtle? Happy Halloween! Uh, tarantulas. Uh, green. Oh, I gotta get another Halloween bucket for these. It looks 
the same. That's Halloween. That's not my bag. For sure, pumpkin, seven dollars. It's not my witch. It's not my witch. My skirt is too soft. That's not my witch. got my eyebrows done and I went to Styly. it's uh, at the BX on base if you're someone that's on base utilize their things I definitely support like home based businesses but I really like to get my eyebrows done there I usually break out like crazy so I usually do threading the home based business that I used to use she moved like last year and they do so good and then I'll put like some lavender oil on it and it won't break out otherwise I'll always like break out and stuff and I love how they do it it doesn't like hurt one bit and they really take their time to do the eyebrows so I just treated myself for that and now I'm on my way back home to go pack for the unaccompanied are you gonna stay there <laughs> oh are you, are you giving the vacuum a hug all right, this is the situation. We don't have any boxes this time, besides like these. So they have to pack all of this. Get the ball. Go get it. Come on, let's get the ball. Come on. Leo, let's get the ball. Yay. Oh, we got to change a diaper. Pumpkins. <laughs> there 
That's our pumpkin. Bucket? Whoa! Toy Story Bucket. <laughs>